let's open up the player script and right here in the player animator and gravity let's go ahead and create a reference to our player animator so we will say animator and let's name this as animator as well after this let's scroll down to player move and right here we are moving the player so if the player is moving then we want to play some certain animations okay so we have a reference to our animator so now we can say animator dot set bool okay and let's make the walk true true and guys make sure that your names are as same to the parameters names okay because these are actually the parameters if i show it to you right here okay this is the idle walk running jump these are the parameters and then this is the true and false value for it okay so right here we make the walk true and then make the running false okay because when the player is walking we don't want the player to run so make it false after this let's add else block and inside this else it means that if the player is not moving then if the player is not moving what we will do let's just copy and paste that to right here and make the walk false and running to false as well after this we have the jumping animation so let's add the jump animation as well so right here if we press the jump button then we want to play the jump animation so if the player is jumping then what we want to do we want the idle to be false first of all so set it to false after this let's say animator dot set trigger because as you know the jump is a trigger so let's trigger the jump and when the player is done jumping then we want to reset the trigger and set the idle to true so let's just copy paste that and change this to true and right here now instead of the set trigger let's say reset trigger after this we have the running or you can say sprinting so right here if we are sprinting then what we want to do as you know now we will say animator.set pool we will set the walk to false and set the running to true after this we will say else and in here we will simply go past that again and this time set walk to true and running to false that is it now we have the animations added now let's go ahead and test it out if we click on our player this is the animator so let's drag and drop this animator in there okay in the script where we have created a reference now let's save the game and let me bring down the animator right there okay like this and click on the player so that we can see what animation is being played in the controller so now let's go ahead and play the game now as you can see our player is playing the idle animation now let's walk as you can see the player is playing the walk animation okay now if we try to run as you can see without any glitches our player is playing the running animation as you can see and now if we try to jump as you can see our player is jumping as well now if we try to walk and jump as you can see the jump animation is being cut off so for that what we can do is to simply get back to the script and right here in the player move when we are moving then we want the jump range to be zero or you can say that we don't want the player to jump and when the player is not moving we will set the jump range back to two okay and let's do the same in the sprinting as well right here make the jump range to zero f 
and when we are not sprinting then we will set the jump range back to 2x that is it so now if we test out the game again okay here it is we can walk and now if we try to jump as you can see our player is not jumping now if we try to run and jump as you can see our player is not jumping okay so now if we stop and jump as you can see our player is jumping but the jump value is a little bit too higher so let's just change this jump range to 1 okay and now if we jump okay it is set back to 0 so actually let's make this 1 and this one as well back to 1 okay because I forgot that our jump range was 1 by default so make sure it is set to 1 now if we test it out again so now if we try to walk as you can see our player is walking now if we run he is running and now if we jump okay he is jumping perfectly fine so our animations are now working fine and with this done i will see you guys in the next one